For the first time in nearly three decades, an American man was the first to cross the finish at this year's Boston Marathon. Two hours, eight minutes and 37 seconds. Meb Kifleski felt inspired by his win in what was the first running of the race since a bombing last year left three people killed. I just kept thinking, Boston strong, Boston strong, Meb strong, Meb strong, give it everything you have and if I get beat it, that's it. But at the same time, I want to be able to finish strong. It was a second consecutive win at the race for Kenya's Rita Jeptu, and the Boston Strong theme to this year's race resonated with her, too. Um, I'm happy because uh, I decided to come here in Boston to run again um, to, supp to support in, uh, people in here in Boston and to show people here in Boston we are together. For those who survived last year's bombing, it was a moment of closure. Coming back as a survivor from the, from the bombings last year and being able to complete it again is amazing. This, it felt absolutely incredible. When you look, at, uh, you look at the events of last year, the tragedy of last year, we earned this. We, we worked hard for this, and this was our year. It felt amazing. It's been, it was a very emotional day today. You know, it was really, really filled up so many times today thinking about what happened last year and, and, and just looking at this beautiful day and grateful, you know, that we could all be here. It's sad to see policemen and sad for the way we had to run the race today, but grateful that we get to run the race today. This year's race took place amid tight security and mandatory checkpoints. Thank you, Boston. Perhaps a small price to pay for some 5,000 athletes who had to leave the course after pressure cooker bombs went off near the finish last year.